test.
Check. 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 Give me a thumbs, thumbs up if you can hear us. Great, Great job, job, everybody.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our intended start time tonight is 7 o'clock. However, due to the inclement weather, the power outages, and the generator usage, we are going to give our graduates and their families just a few more minutes to get into the arena. We appreciate your patience, and we plan to start as soon as possible. Thank you all very much.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lamar Dixon. Tonight, it is the home of the mighty Spartans. We thank you for your patience as we want to ensure we can celebrate each student tonight with working water, electricity, and sound. Thank you for your patience. It is my absolute honor and pleasure to introduce to you the 2023 East Ascension High School Student of the Year and Mistress of Ceremonies, Miss Caitlin Frank. Class, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the administration, faculty, and members of my graduating class of 2023, it is my honor to welcome you to the 57th Annual Commencement Ceremony of East Ascension High School. We are proud and grateful to be able to celebrate this milestone in our lives. To remember our classmates who are no longer here with us, we have a designated chair on the field to honor their memory. At this time, would you please rise for the presentation of colors by the East Ascension High School NJROTC, the National Anthem, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the Invocation. Class, please rise. Senior members of the East Ascension Choir will now lead us in singing our national anthem.
with a grade point average of 4.4688, senior class member Brandon Jones will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With a grade point average of 4.4483, senior class member Paige Tremonti will give the invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, as a class of 2023, we ask for your continued guidance as we embark on our different paths in life. We are grateful for the teachers, mentors, coaches, and friends that have guided us through our journey. Heavenly Father, we pray that we will continue to make new friendships and always cherish those who have helped us along the way. We pray that each graduate has cherished their high school experience and goes out into the world leaving it better than they found it. We pray every obstacle we encounter leads and guides us to be the best version of ourselves. God, please keep the family and friends of two beautiful souls who are not here with us in person tonight. We pray for Christopher Davis and Charity Dunbar, who were taken from us too soon. They remain in our hearts, and we will now honor them with a moment of silence. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for all the blessings you bestowed upon us and ask for your continued guidance as we prepare for the next chapter in our lives. In your name we pray, amen. Just as Christopher and Charity remain in our hearts, so do their families. Inside this vase are pieces of hearts of the members of class members of 2023. We would like to leave this symbol of our love with Christopher and Charity's families. Class, please be seated. I will now call upon Miss Lauren Avery to introduce our special guest. This evening, we are pleased to have special guests with us. We ask that you hold your applause until all names have been called. I am honored to introduce to you the members of the Ascension Parish School Board. Vice President Jared Bursajay, Julie Bluen, Karen Bro, John DeFrancis, Jake Lambert, Louis Lambert, and John Murphy. 
I am also pleased to introduce to you the Ascension Parish System Central Office staff. David Alexander, Superintendent. A. Denise Graves, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Edith Walker, Chief Instructional Director and newly appointed Superintendent. Chad Lynch, Chief Operations Director. Carly Francois, Director of Secondary Schools. Lynn Hathaway, Director of Special Education. Dina Davis, Director of Middle Schools. Elizabeth Stafford, Director of Primary Schools. Dr. Jeremy Muse, Director of Human Resources. Kimney Cox, Director of Business Services. High School, Super High School Supervisors, Karen Burat, Rhonda Matthews, Tracy McCorkle, also former East Ascension High School Principal. Administrators from Early College Option, Nicole Joseph and Missy Zeller. Mr. Harry Wright, Principal of Apital Digital Academy. Jackie Tisdale, Public Information Officer. Also, please welcome additional supervisors, coordinators, and central office staff. Erin Babin, Michelle Burke, Lisa Carter, Mary Daze, Danielle Evans, Eve Frederick, Nicole Grimes, Shalacy Lewis, Amber Miller, Dr. Adrena Million, Monique Moore, Paisley Morgan, Brent Ramagos, Dr. Robin Simmons, Dr. Jamie Williams, Aubrey Yates, and retired Spartan Tracy Swacker. And please apologize, I did not mention Ms. Delaney if she could get a huge round of applause because she is a Spartan school board member. Thank you, Ms. Delaney, for your service. Joining me tonight are very luckily some of my very good friends. More importantly, they are amazing educators and even better people. I'm very thankful and proud to announce the Associate Principal, Kim Yuzi. Assistant Principals, Walter Traveler, Rainey Laginus, Dineska McZeal, she is the Senior Administrator, and Johnny Walker. The real work of education begins in the classroom at East Ascension. We have dedicated, committed, talented faculty and staff. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so proud to present to you the faculty and staff of the amazing East Ascension High School. Please stand. I thank all of you for your hard work and presence here tonight. We are also honored to have with us numerous faculty members of our feeder schools. These dedicated individuals helped shape the lives of seniors while they were in primary and elementary grades. I'd like to ask you to please stand and thank you for your many years of service to these seniors. If you are a member, a teacher, or a faculty member from one of our feeder schools, please stand. I would also like to give a very special thanks to the teachers and staff who are responsible for making tonight happen. It is always our goal to ensure your child's safety and to celebrate them as they deserve. Tonight's decision to move this event was not taken lightly and could not have worked or occurred without true Spartan teamwork. Please join me in thanking our graduation committee and all of those who helped make tonight possible, including the Ascension Parish Operations and Lamar Dixon, Mr. David Alexander, Chad Lynch, Tim Amade, and Chris Blanche. We could not have done this tonight without their help. <laughs> Members of the school board, honored guests, faculty, parents, relatives and friends, members of the graduating class of 2023. 
I welcome you to the 57th commencement ceremony of East Ascension High School. One of my favorite thoughts is from Mother Teresa. She spent her life aiding and loving some of the most poor and desperate people in India. She said, stay where you are, find your Calcutta. Find the sick, the suffering, the lonely, right where you are, in your own homes, thank you, in your own families, in your workplaces and your schools. You can find Calcutta all over the world. You just have to have the eyes to see it. Luckily, our Spartans, you already know how to do this because you have heard how to do this every day for four years. Number one, be there. Be there for others in times of need. Show up, take care of yourself and others. Be present in the moment. Put your phones down and be where your feet are. Number two, choose your attitude. Perspective is everything. Life will not always be celebratory, joyful, and exciting. But how you choose to view the situation and others around you is the true game changer. Your input not only affects how you see situations, but how others feel. It is not always about you. Number four, work hard. Anything worth having is worth working for. Focus, try and try again, and give it your all. Work hard to preserve your friendships and your relationships. Work hard every day for yourself and your families, and leave things better than you found them. And of course, have fun. Life is short. Take care of yourself, each other, and your community. When Mother Teresa said, go find your own Calcutta, she meant that we can impact positive change where we currently are every single day. No matter how ambitious you are or how successful you become, remember, the ordinary things in life can be what makes your life extraordinary. Don't underestimate the impact of a kind word or what encouragement can do. Find your own Calcutta. And luckily, you are not alone in this endeavor. You are part of a great school with a rich tradition, and you will now join a unique group of over 17,820 people who proudly call themselves EA alumni. Go change the world. Find your Calcutta. Make the world a better place in your own way. And always remember, for one last time, once a Spartan, always a Spartan. At this time, Mr. David Alexander, Superintendent of Ascension Parish Schools, will address the East Ascension High School graduating class for the last time. Congratulations, Mr. Alexander, on your upcoming retirement. It is well deserved. Thank you, Miss Avery. So I gotta tell you, pomp and circumstance with the Spartans marching in is truly one of the most special moments that I've been experiencing over the past few years, not only in this position, but also as director of high schools. Y'all do it so well. Let's give this place a big round of applause. So, you kind of go from your senior year in modular buildings, temporary sites, to your graduation at a temporary site here. Your resilience is just unspeakable and unbelievable. I appreciate that you still bring joy to wherever it is you go. And you know, I gotta do a few shout outs. So I'm understanding band and choir, both sweepstakes at state festival this year, is that correct? Listen, I hear your wrestling team was the top public school in the state, bowling semifinalist, 
and you had five students placing state literary rally. These are just a few accomplishments. This legacy, this rich tradition that is often imitated but never duplicated as I understand it, right? So thanks to the faculty, y'all are really special. A special group of people, thanks to this feeder system here, <clears throat> what you do to rally around children every, every day of your life, every year, this is the result. And I know that they're grateful in front of you tonight. I am honored to be here. You are our guest of honor though. And I don't know many of you well, but I do wanna say, I sat down with a few of your classmates and I wanna thank Hannah, Kayla, Takia, Tanner, Thomas, Macy, Casey, Katie, Keyshawn, Xavier, Kay, Taylor, Caden, e Eddie, Leslie, and Quincy for spending a little time with me. We talked about pep rallies, something they call rolling week. Drumline, party palooza, just to name a few things. They talked about how COVID changed things, some in good ways, some in bad. But they all agreed to one thing, Getting involved in East Ascension High School is just the best. They talked about how he has taught them time management, a broader perspective on values, morals, and has prepared them for whatever may be next. However, they all said they're not quite ready to leave. And that's a good thing because they will leave and they know that. I know as you leave, you're anxious about a handful of things. At some point, the days ahead, you'll begin chasing new things, new settings, maybe even in new states. <clears throat> you'll begin to think about how you're gonna earn money, participate in your community, raise your family, and do all kind of pursuits. And you may even worry about how much you're gonna have. I can promise you, It'll never matter how much you have. What will matter is what you do with what you have. Another thing seniors always talk about a little bit to me every year is their fear of failure. And that's real. It's real for me, it's real for you. Because every day when we wake up, there's a long list of things that hasn't happened yet. And we can either worry about and be scared of what's gonna happen and fear it, or we can know that whatever happens, whether we gotta move or not, we're gonna be able to handle our circumstances. And I, will, I want to remind you too that I know you have a small portrait or picture of success. You've seen it. You've admired other people. You've said, wow, that looks like expertise. I want to be that. I want to do that. Behind what you're seeing in that portrait is a lot of hard work. A lot of long nights, early morning, sweat, tears, and bruises from moments of disappointment. If you want remarkable results, you really have to work remarkably hard. And look, I know you know all of this. All of those that, that love you the most, you're going to hear it here tonight more than once. These are the things that we try to encourage each other every day to think about and do. Because those things that are important like this, we need to pay attention to. So in closing, I hope that you have been equipped to be active scholars, solution seekers, creative innovators, effective communicators, noble citizens, and determined and resilient learners. Thank you sincerely for allowing us to be part of your life. Remember to smile often, make eye contact, bring energy, and listen, give others a chance even when the first impression isn't favorable. You're gonna make choices, they're gonna be on your own, choose well. Life really is good, especially when we choose well, it's good. It's not without disappointments, challenges, or tragedies, but it's still good. And when I'll close with this. When you wake up occasionally, maybe every day, think about this. What this time next year would I wish that I had started today? And if you can answer that question, then every day you wake up will be the first day of the rest of your life. Good luck. God bless. We love you. And thank you all for what you do here. In every graduating class, there are certain individuals who, through earnest effort and hard work, have distinguished themselves with outstanding academic achievement. This year, we have two students who have earned the distinction of co-salutatorian. 
One of these students is from early college options and is not able to join us. With us here tonight is the East Ascension High School co-salutatorian with a grade point average of 4.4848, Ms. Jada Kelson. Distinguished guests, administration, faculty, staff, family, and friends, on behalf of the graduating class of 2023 of East Ascension High School, we would like to thank you for your support, which brought us to this memorable occasion tonight. Looking out at the many beautiful individuals who sit here in front of me, remembering the ones who we have lost, and reflecting on our common experiences, we have indeed endured many hardships these four years. We have experienced more than the average class. COVID was a tough battle, but we got up so quickly. Watching the main building being torn down due to much needed renovations during our senior year saddened us. But taking a brick home as a souvenir of the original building is a memory never to be forgotten. We even had to say goodbye to our beloved mall, but we did not say goodbye to tradition. With true Spartan resilience, we still created the traditional Gator Day Swamp on the day of our rivalry game in our new mod city. We began our senior year feeling like freshmen again because we did not know where important places were located due to the construction. But we gained a spectacular new building called the Media Center that remains one of our favorite places. As a class, we came in the first year excited, and the seniors gave us a more than warm welcome by intimidating us with the infamous pep rally champ. But now we are the seniors and realize that high school is not such a scary place after all. In fact, high school is the place where we grew into unique individuals and learned more than just academics. We learned our personal worth. With growth comes change. So let's remember how far we have come. Remember the first pep rally and seeing the colossal spirit stick. Remember the first football game, where many of us happily marched on the field with a band, cheered or danced on the sidelines, or took part in being covered with blue and yellow dust from the powder in the student section. Remember our first gator day and dressing in camouflage while hunting miniature gators. Remember how that first special tradition united us as gator haters. These are all wonderful memories that helped us begin our high school journey. Now, let's reflect on how our journey will end. Remember the fireworks show and sitting on the Spartan field starry-eyed. Remember our drive-in movie at the baseball field where we were filled with complete joy. Remember Party Palooza where we played games and were even hit with massive snowballs. Remember just recently jumping in the pond. We can all say that was quite the experience. All the vast dinosaur, donut, and flamingo floaties bobbing in the water. And to you fast-moving swimmers who made it to that wall, good job, because I didn't. Remember the tedious nights of homework, projects, writing papers, and all the benchmarks that we prepared for to grow intellectually. Although we did not enjoy those moments, they were necessary to teach us how to respond to challenges in our future. Through our common experiences, EA became our home quickly. We built a name for ourselves and excelled in the activities we participated in. Our memories became the building blocks of our time at EA. We became a Spartan family. And though we may not know all of the nearly 400 graduates by name, we went through the same shared experiences. We shared the same issues, classrooms, and celebrations. Class of 2023, we had a good time. I hope you look back on all we did and remember your family. 
your Spartan family. Maya Angelou once said, there is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. So I hope you all tell the beautiful stories of EA and keep the bricks we brought from this school as well as the pictures and the treasures because there is nothing like being a Spartan, like living with such glorious light and spirit inside of you. We have carried the legacy of what it means to be a Spartan so strongly in our hearts, and now we get to live our lives with it. I love EA tremendously, and I am sure that you do too, because no matter where we find our future home, we know once a Spartan, always a Spartan. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the student that earned the honor of being named valedictorian. With a grade point average of 4.7419, congratulations to our valedictorian, Caitlin Frank. Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to welcome our distinguished guests, faculty, administration, school board members, family, and friends to the celebration of academic excellence. Thank you for your commitment, love, and support to our mighty Spartan family, allowing for us to be here tonight. As we gather here this evening, each graduate is feeling various amounts of excitement, curiosity, and maybe even some fear as to what's next. This is how we felt walking into the mall doors for the first time, the first day of freshman year, nervous yet ready to tackle a new school and setting. Although many of the emotions we felt four years ago are still the same today, the people that we are are quite different. We have learned, we have experienced, and we have matured into the young adults we are today. As we take our next steps after graduation, we will never forget one of the most important lessons that East Ascension High School has taught us, to stay Spartan strong. Experiencing new things can be terrifying, but they can also be really exciting. Freshman year was full of new classes, new friendships, and many opportunities to be immersed in school spirit. We joined clubs and sports teams. We attended our first pep rallies, our first football games, and our first homecoming. We hunted toy gators on campus at six in the morning, experiencing true high school rivalry during Gator Week. The way that school ended, however, was far from how it began. With what started as a simple two-week break became a six-month absence from our beloved EA. Every student and their family was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Although times were incredibly difficult and stressful, we found the light during this dark time. The administration made sure school was continued virtually. We stayed in contact with our friends over the phone, strengthening these relationships in a different way. We used the extra time to better ourselves, learn new hobbies, and do things that made us happy and less stressed. Throughout the pandemic, we stayed Spartan strong. Our sophomore year was a school year unlike any other. Students returned from quarantine eager to have things return to normal. However, this was far from the case. The year began with only half the students on campus each day, wearing masks, remaining six feet apart, and constantly being sent home to quarantine. Some of us remained at home, virtually taking classes throughout this year. There were little to no clubs, no sporting events to attend, and most of our traditions and activities were put on hold throughout the whole year. Even through this abnormal school year, 
we didn't let these big changes control our attitude. We were appreciative that we were even able to still go to school during this time. We could still see our friends from a distance. We could still practice and play our sports. Even though school and activities were limited, we made the most of it, participating in what we could. We stayed patient, we stayed involved, and we stayed Spartan strong. Then came our junior year. Things finally started to return to normal, or at least a new normal. We had less social distancing, less quarantining, and less restrictions on sports and clubs. But our worries felt like they only increased. We were worried that we would have to leave school for weeks at a time, just like we did at the end of our freshman year and the beginning of our sophomore year. We were especially worried that we would lose the traditions that make EA so special. From cheering for the spirit stick at pep rallies, to our homecoming parade, going on campus toy gator hunting, and attending the shout out during Gator Week, we made sure that East Ascension would keep these traditions, and we even implemented new ones. There were plenty of changes from how things ran compared to two years ago, but we adapted. We stayed hopeful, we took action, and we were Spartan strong. Finally, it was our senior year. Every student was back at school. Our traditions and typical EA activities were back in place, and we were excited for our last and most important year of school. However, we were hit with the news that was good for the school, but bad for us seniors. The school would be going through reconstruction. East Ascension High School was built in 1966, having over 50 years of history and memories held within it. Our school was in need of some major upgrades, but that also meant we had to say goodbye to the main building that we had classes in for the past three years but was also home to so many generations of Spartans. Our classes moved to temporary buildings, which we called Mod City. We had no main hallway, no mall, and no central campus location that felt like home. But we know that the building is not the school. The people are. Each and every graduate here tonight has been an important contribution to EA whether it's through their sports, club participation, or just being on campus. And although we weren't able to spend our last year of high school in the main building, we know that future generations will spend their high school in the new building. We've stayed positive for the future generations of students that will one day walk on our campus. We've stayed Spartan strong, not just for ourselves, but for the future Spartans that will one day be in our shoes. Throughout the past four years, we have experienced a pandemic, hurricanes, loss of friends and classmates, and even a complete reconstruction of the campus. Our administration, our staff, our teachers, and our coaches at East Ascension High School have been great examples of how to push through. They have supported us, they have led us, and they have exemplified how to be Spartan strong. Through our experiences, we have deepened our humility, resilience, and perseverance. We have learned, we have experienced, and we have matured. East Ascension's class of 2023 has faced many hardships throughout all four years of high school. But what matters most is the way we handled them, the way we pushed through. We stayed Spartan strong through whatever was thrown our way. Graduates of 2023, as you continue on with the next chapter of your life, whether it's attending college, vocational school, going straight into the workforce, or enlisting in the military, know that you will face adversity. Stay strong. When you feel like giving up, keep pushing on. As things get difficult, 
remember that whatever we face in the future, we can keep a positive attitude, we can find the good in tough situations, and we will stay Spartan strong. Thank you. this time, I would like to recognize our seniors who have gone above and beyond in their academic and career studies. Would those seniors wearing a dual-colored white and yellow card please stand and remain standing? These students are distinguished honor graduates. They have earned a grade point average. They have earned a grade point average of 3.5 and above. Thank you. You may be seated. Would those seniors wearing a yellow cord please stand and remain standing? These students have earned a grade point average between 3.0 and 3.499. Thank you, you may be seated. Would those seniors wearing a dark green cord please stand and remain standing. These students have earned an Associate of Arts Louisiana transfer degree or have earned a statewide advanced credential and met the minimum requirement on the AP or CLEP exam. Congratulations, thank you, and you may be seated. Would those seniors wearing a light green cord please stand and remain standing. These students have earned an advanced industry credential and or achieved the minimum score the Louisiana State Department of Education has established as a standard recognized for college credit at colleges and universities throughout the nation. Congratulations and you may be seated. Would those seniors wearing an achievement pin please stand at this time? These students have earned dual enrollment post-secondary credit and are a basic industry credential. Thank you and you may be seated. Congratulations to all these students for their outstanding achievements. Diplomas will now be awarded by the East Ascension High School Administration.
Caitlin Frank. Trinity Babin. Devere Ramgarib. Asil Samara. Jada Kelson. Brandon Jones. Mariela Salgado Bejar. Paige Tremonti. Will Boudreaux. London Greenfield. Camilla Corella. Desmond Green. Avery Ackman. Mary Shows. Elena Rodrigue. <laughs> Elena Dollar. <laughs> Siaja Jimerson. Diego Ontiveros. Cade Sholar. Gia Metz. Madison Barleycorn. Jasmine Sims. Kaylin Woods. Ali Richard. Destiny Sanchez Warren. Mason Sullivan. Sarah Vilar. Caden Hogan. Abby Lestage. Madeline Smith. Grace Burke. Brianna Lago. (laughs) 
Nyla Sanchez. Presley Grogne. Kate Reels. Jade Jackson. Hannah Bell. Malachi Smith. Kayla Lacoste. Akela Belvin. Aiden Bro. Brandon Torres. David Weaver. Joshua Jackson. Ariana Polk. Diamond Harris. Sarah Grather. Connor Allgood. Martin Garza. Macy Holmes. Hannah May. Alasia Steib. Stephanie Jimenez Lopez. Juan Jaramillo Marin. Blake Jarvis. Eddie Calderon. Riley Leggett. Amaya Carter. Taylor Morgan. Dora Cisneros. Caden Jones. Tysiana Smith. Landry Gillespie. Marcus Hart. Dylan Amade. (laughs) 
Jesús Cabrera. Price Dupre. Larry Rochelle. Leslie Banda. Stephanie Mendoza. Casey Arciniega. Keyshawn Bridgewater. Javarius Holmes. Petri Thompson. Taylor Palmer. Takia Mitchell. Paige Pransky. Brett Shakesnyder. Xavier Jupiter. Kierilyn Irvin. Paris Simon. Bethany Compton. Christopher Carcis. Angel Gomez Santos. Charle Vito. Seth Jacob. Joriana Stevenson. Serenity Hilaire. Andrea Gutierrez. Jesse Landry. Ali Melanson. Cameron Stepter. Oh. Kira Harris. Michaela Shepherd. Amaya Oob.
Luke Connerly. Naomi Ramos Gaitan. Roland Nakin. Mackenzie Delone. Brooks Lambert. Thomas E. Barb. Kaylee Stevens. Evelyn Chavarria Garay. Jace Babin. Cameron Holmes. Bentley Sheets. Ileana Bridges. Jacob Frosch. <laughs> Jawan Lewis. Amalia Plesha. Terrence Harris. Lisette Orehel. Abigail Daniels. Abigail Reed. Alan Castillo. Daira Alvarado. Andrene Jones. Bria Camper. Ty Cousin. Corey Boudreau. Diamond Bailey. Jathan Wilson. Jonathan Martinez. Owen Stutzman. Caleb Ricker. Evelyn Gardner. Geneva Lubeck. Mackenzie Wagenspack. Janaya Northern Levy.
Tanner Irvin. Gaimisha Armstrong. Peyton Melanson. Hannah Hagney. Dejan Brumfield. Keyshawn Beckett. Reed Gomez. Kayla Ciano. Chloe Carr. Layla Gilmore. Aaron Gibbs. Gerald Horn. Zaire Silas. Davin Calvaruso. Devin Bates. Anthony Coleman the third. Dakota Theodore. Shalay Jones. Madison Keith. Noah Abercrombie. Jaya Brown. Corey Howard Jr. Terry Tucker. Emily West. Ryan Foncre. Layla Williams. Cameron Cardello. Emily Outlaw. Brian Martinez. Blake Smith. Nadarius Walker. Tyler Darville. Bryce Murden. Derek James.
Madison Bell. Janaya Jones. Jordan Peterson. Israel Rangel. Chase Bouve. Dania Hernandez. Matthew Jones. Matthew Flemings. Haley Twiner. Jordan Stellestein. Luis Paulino Mendez. Milana Johnson. Brandon Chavez. Miranda Jade Anthony. Ronald Ventura. Brian Tapia Castro. Deandra Davis. Maya Fox. Naley Owens. Brennan Allen. Amir Anderson. Daniel Antunes. Catherine Aviles. Lucas Babin. Kayla Baker. Chance Banks. Trevor Bass. Kendall Baptiste. William Beal. Kylie Ballard. Damian Bell. Sean Bennett.
Joshua Burfett. Jackson Berthlot. Jeremiah Bibbins. Gabriel Bonin. Corey Boke. Rodzell Bozeman. Ty Chaz Briley. Alicia Brown. Cassidy Brown. Jordan Brown. Malaya Brown. Riley Brown. John Burchell. Nevaeh Burks. Sanaya Burns. Jackie Cano Galban. Glendy Cardona Aguilar. Jaylene Cardosa Elias. Melina Carrero. Haciel Castillo. Caden Chamberlain. Kiara Chapman. Jacoby Christie. Chad Clark. Sydney Clark. Zykeas Cole. Corey Collins. Wardell Como. Ashley Crum. Bethany Cullen. Daniel Davis. Gia Davis. Micaiah Davis. Wow. 
Destiny Dean. Deliana Dennis. Jose Diaz. Devon Dickerson. Darby DiMaggio. Steven Dominguez Delgado. Brianna Dunbar. Dante Dunbar. Shyla Duncan. Victor Edwards. Alex Ancalade. Ulises Escarcega. Suleni Espinal de la Cruz. Quinton Eubanks. Hannah Evans. Katia Fisher. Alicia Fleming. Antoine Foster. Logan Freeman. Arian Fusile. Matthews Garcia Lewis. Jakairi Glover. Aiden Granados. Carolyn Gray. Bryson Green. Caleb Green. Brandon Guidry. Destiny Guillory. Terry Gully. (laughs) 
Ronsonne Gustav. Tyandre Hayes. Cameron Henry. Javon Hill. Madison Hills. Ashlyn Hooper. Jaden Hughes. Jaden Hewlin. Darren Irvin. Shania Isom. Aaron Jackson. Darren Jackson. Janai Jackson. Delaney Johnson. Ethan Johnson. Jacory Johnson. Jaleel Johnson. Carrie Johnson. Malijah Johnson. Kelsey Jones. Micaiah Jones. Michaela Jones. Caitlin Joseph. Sydney Joseph. Tamarick Joseph. Randall Duet. Markiana Keller. Jansen Kelly. Damian Ledlow. Jalen Lee. Taylor Lemaine. Do you think the 
Jasmine Leonard. Jaden Lassard. Matthew Lewis. Trinity Lewis. Evan Luke. Raymond Lucas. Quincy Mack. Ethan Marino. Lindsay Martin. Minor Martinez. Joshua Marishak. Kareem Maslam. Ian McCoy. Christian McGee. Malaysia Melanson. Lemuel Myers. Sierra Michael. Janicia Milan. Denasia Miller. Amari Mills. Rakeem Mitchell. Rashad Moody. Daniel Morales. Rosalind Morales. Ashley Mota Javalera. Anna Wynn. Ray Orgeron. Carlos Ortega Montes. Ashton Padilla. Nicole Padilla. Jonathan Petit. (laughs) 
Nyasia Pierre. Gage Prevo. Hector Pulido Díaz. Darian Reddit. Torian Reynard. Angel Reynolds. Myria Riley. Ruby Rios. King Roberts. Connor Robinson. Ayana Rogers. Stephen Rosamond. Chance Rout. Samuel Sabion. Madison Sam. Walter Samuel. Jacob Schatzneider. Nabria Scott. Nadia Shamia. Alejandro Silva. Brayden Smith. Tavon Smith. Scarlett Solis Antunes. Macy Sonye. Leyland Sancier. Stevens, Arion Stevenson, Nylon Stewart, Venaro Stewart. Brooke Stutzman. Roy Stutzman. Brian. 
Ryan Tellez. Danielle Thomas. Casey Thomas. Brenton Thompson. Destiny Thompson. Kevin Toussaint. Janai Turner. Tyvon Turner. Yvonne Turrubiartes. Ariana Tyler. Raina Valentine. Vermont Vallo. Jureli Velasquez. Gabriel Ward. Brayden Washington. Christian Washington. Nevea Washington. Dynasty Watson. Shailen Whedon. Gabrielle Wells. Chadron Wenzi. Rosalind White. <laughs> Caleb Williams. <laughs> Ethan Troquill. Amante Wire. Hallie Wingate. My Angel Wilson. like to thank you, the class of 2023, for the support you have shown to our school, and we hope you will always continue to support your alma mater 
East Ascension High School. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduates of 2023. At this time, at this time, please rise for the singing of the alma mater. <laughs> 